Sheila here and welcome to my channel. Hey y'all, I hope y'all are having a great week so far. Another week's gone by and it's end of July. So with that, we're getting closer and closer to some cooler weather. I'm so looking forward to fall this year, you know, in cooler weather because it's been so hot here in North Carolina. I'm sure everywhere it's been hot. So I'm so looking forward to some much cooler weather. <laughs> All right, a few days ago, I left y'all with a video telling y'all my dilemma. Most of y'all know I live in an apartment and with any rental apartment or, or budget costs, sometimes you just can't change things up. As here in my apartment, I there's limited things I can do. And with that, space. Space is always a big issue in an apartment living. In my laundry room, I had quite large appliances like my washer and dryer. They were huge, way too big for this space. Um, I couldn't change the doors. And then not just that, because I kept hitting, I was having to use a step stool to step up on, reach over the washer and dryer and grab my laundry detergent, Clorox, dryer sheets, whatever have you, because there was only one shelf in the laundry room. So I was, beating myself up on what I could do to help me out, what I could change up, what I couldn't, you know, there's only things like certain things I can do. Well, besides the space issue with the washer and dryer, I was able to swap them out. I love my other set, but I was able to swap them out to a different set, much smaller in scale, which really helped open up some space in there. And then, so that one dilemma was handled. The second dilemma I had was there was only one shelf. So with that shelf, I had my laundry detergent was on and also on that shelf, I had my little small appliances I didn't use daily, such as my toaster, my ice cream maker, my air fryer, things like that, because I didn't have nowhere else to put them. So that, that shelf housed a lot of stuff. I was trying to think, what can I do? So I got my husband to put me another shelf below that I'm going to use that shelf to house most of my laundry stuff. And the other, the main shelf, that big one that I can't do nothing to, I think I come up with an idea on what I can put up there to help house my little small appliances. So that's what I'm going to do to my laundry room. So let me turn the camera around and I will show y'all what I'm going to be doing to give it a much more visual, pleasing appearance. Do walk into my kitchen and look at my laundry room and make me much more happier. Plus, it almost make you want to do laundry, which would anything make you want to do that? <laughs> All right, y'all. So let me turn the camera around and we will get started. Okay. All right. Be right back. Before I refresh y'all's memory um, on how it looked, let me make a little small public service announcement, if you will. Okay. Please listen to me very carefully. Okay, please. No fast forwarding y'all. Please don't fast forward the videos. It really hurts. Okay. There were so many of you had said, Sheila, change the doors. They're interchangeable. They're interchangeable. I saw that so many times. Yeah. If it was only the doors slapping each other, I would have not have went through all of this swapping out a washer and dryer just because a door slapped. I mean, that's almost me being really silly and petty. I would have never done that. Okay. I would have never ask and try to figure out a way to get a new washer dryer, swap this out, get Lowe's here to take that set and get this new set. I would have never have done that. I said it quite a few times in my video. I even showed you guys what they were doing, but I did leave out a little small video because I messed up on that video. I actually duplicated it. So you probably heard, heard me say what was going on like two or three times because I messed up. And with that, I'm sorry. That wasn't my best editing, y'all. Sorry about that. But um, I ha actually put in a video and I was to show you all where you couldn't interchange them. I so may put this in here or split the screen to show y'all where you couldn't swap out the door from the left to the right because of the sensor. And like I said, I may put it in here so to show y'all that I wasn't just making this up, okay? Because there was some ugly comments about it. It is what it is. And... Even if I did want to do this, it's my money. And I'll, if I want to buy a set and go buy another set next week, that's what my husband and I decided to do, okay? Thank y'all for y'all's concern. Thank you for suggesting it. But if it was that easy 
just swapping the doors out. Trust me, I would have never have even done this, okay? All right, thank y'all. So with that, let's get started back on the video, okay? All right, thank you guys. Love y'all. All right, you all, I'm just refreshing y'all's memory on what I'm left with. This is my, this is the main shelf right here, wire shelving. And it's pretty tall, as y'all can see, all this. And this is where I would house all of my small appliances I didn't use much. Plus, I got nowhere else to put them. I would have that. Plus, I would have all of my laundry, detergent, Clorox, things like that, on that shelf. So, I got Hubby to install this shelf. And I just put these laundry items on that shelf just to show what it, you know the difference of it. So, what I'm going to do now, I think I come up with an idea on what I want to do to make this look more, much more visual pleasing. One thing, I can't stand all of this right here. It looks kind of junky to me, all the different colors and, and all of that, I just don't like it. I want something to make me happy and make me want to come in here and do laundry. You know, if, you know at, least, at, least, at least I want to think. What I come up with, I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought some baskets a different variety, but it's kind of same color basket. So I decided to put my appliances in baskets. Oh. All of this will all look really nice and unison. And when I need something, I just pull the basket down and everything will be in there all nice and tidy. I got different sizes to kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah. What I'm gonna do on this shelf here, where I got all my laundry detergent and whatnot. Yeah. I can't, I think I come up with a solution on some of this here. Some of this I won't be able to change it much. But that's okay. So I have some glass can canisters that I'm gonna put on some of this stuff here. Okay, take everything down and put everything in my baskets, and I'll show you what it's gonna look like. I think it's gonna look so good. I'm really excited. So hang on, I'll be right back. So say goodbye to this. Okay. <laughs> y'all that's how I got in place now I gotta put my appliances in my little basket hang on okay I love my little scent boosters I love them so I want to use this glass container right here and I'm gonna put all my little scent beads in there so I get me a little scoop and I'll just scoop it out as I need it so let's pop this open let me turn y'all down so y'all can see hope y'all can see that I look good in there, don't you? Yeah. We're gonna go up on the shelves and this is what I come up with. Here you go. Look you all, what do you think? I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, so what I did was just went to Hobby Lobby and bought a variety of baskets. Um, they were all 50% off, so it's so great that the week I needed baskets, they were running 50% off. Um, this big one right here was $54.99. I got it for what 27 something after 50 percent then i think i got this one for 25 this one for 23 and this one was 29 all 50 percent off and i absolutely am tickled with it i like the different sizes i think i think it gives it much more character to it 
love it. So how easy it is for me to take it, take one of the handles, pull down, and get what I need out of there, and then put it right back up. And it's all hid, looks so nice, everything is neat. And so when I walk in here, it looks so much better. Uh, and the very above that, I added this sign. I bought this sign at Sam's about maybe two years ago. And I never had an opportunity to put it up until now. So I just put it up there. Really, really like it. I think it's around $20. So great, great buy. Again, had it for a couple years. Here is the way I got that top shelf. Really, really cute. Okay, now the, the second shelf that I have my husband to install for me. Again, I can't do much, you know, with all the different colors and what all I got. But for the most part, I can deal with some of it. Here, I just use a glass container. I put all of my little scent beads in and I got a little scoop in there. So easy peasy. Love that. And then I kind of added this little basket right here. And there is where, um, you know, I've got little things in there, little mesh, little wipe and go shout treatments and um, a little, a little mesh container. This glass container, I put all of my dryer sheets in so I can just lift it up and pull one at a time and throw it right in the dryer. I love that set of um, this big, huge box of, you know, a bounce or, or downy, whatever have you. So I really, really like that idea. And uh, I may order or get my little Cricut machine out. And I wouldn't mind putting like dryer sheets right here uh, with a little vinyl stick on and do the same thing with that one down there. Scent beads, I may do that. You know, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. So anyway, that is the second shelf. So what do you guys think? Now, like I said, it's the rental. So I couldn't do a lot with, I had to work with what I had and love it. Everything looks so much better. Now down here, I just put our trash can here and this opens this spot up and I'm gonna put like the water bowl for the cat and, uh, or my little daughter's dog brings her, well, if my daughter brings her dog over, my grand person, I put the water bowl here water bowl here and then this opens this up to this side over here which we will come back and we'll finish doing that at a later time now on this side over here i was able to install right here is my tension rod because on this side of the laundry room it's got the hot water heater the furnace system things like that to block this off but i got to go get me uh, some sheer some sort of shears um, somewhere. I haven't got them yet, but my I was able to at least get the tension rod so this give y'all idea on how it's gonna look. So we're gonna add some curtains right here so it will block all of this here. And at least it will kind of, I may slide it over going behind my Dyson. So y'all can see I've got all these plumbing and all that. Why they did that, I don't know, but again, it's a rental. There's nothing I can do about it. So anyway, there is where I'm going to um, put up my shears right there. So it will hide all of that. And I let the cat be able to get to his litter box. Oh, and here is my washer and dryer like y'all see. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Do y'all like how quick and easy it was and how just something really simple, such as baskets. And I was able to hide all of that ugliness and I just thought it looks too messy up there. I know I'm very very happy. Okay guys there you are and there is going to be the end of this video. Now we've got much more to do in here. I want to add some things here or here. We'll do that at a later time because we've got a project we're going to do right here. Y'all will like it um, and uh, but that's be coming up real soon. I may do that next week or maybe this weekend. I'll go ahead and do it and then I'll share with it next week, but y'all will like that. But we'll do something right here. I'm gonna hang something here. And uh, and then she will be done. Alrighty, you all, well, that is it. I'm gonna spin this camera around and we will finish this video up. And uh, and I will see y'all here in just a minute. All right, y'all, hang well, on. Well, tell me what y'all think. Do y'all like it? I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm just so happy and pleased on how I was able to cover up all that, that mess. 
and still managed to have all of my goodies out that I needed for my laundry. So, you know, I, I still got to deal with it, but I do like my little clear containers they would have housed my little scent beads and my little dry sheets i really really like that and i want to go and get a few containers so i can hide my downy or my tide things like that but we will we'll finish this up because we're not done yet because we've got a couple of diy projects i want to do and hang this curtain up here on my tension rod so there's still things to do but for the most part as far as the appearance on my dilemma we got them solved now just to make it pretty right Alrighty, well thank y'all so much for watching i really really appreciate it before you go as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button i will be so honored to have you in my youtube family and for those who've been around since day one you know y'all will always have my heart okay well until next time sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye-bye.